So over here we have a video that I found a while ago and I found it really interesting. It's a wooden binary adder and it uses marbles and these little wooden rockers over here that go back and forth to make basically add binary numbers. So this one goes up to 32 and this is what it looks like with all the rockers and if we just look at it in action it looks really cool when it adds the rockers go back and forth so I wanted to try and make my own version so that's what I did and I tried to make it look like the original so let's go look at it so this is my version of the machine as you can see it kind of looks like the original except the rockers kind of look weird and it's a lot more horizontal than vertical but mine goes up to 256 and his only went up to 32 so we just go over here and we hit number one as you can see the stulp is an extender retracts then extends pushing the sand block and going in the one placeholder so if we just push the button again we will get two so the one is going to drop over and then it's going to carry over to the two right here so if we were to add one more that would be three and if we were add two it's going to carry over to the four and four plus one equals five so now we have five and if we were to add two more we would have seven and let's just add one more so we can see it carry over a bunch of times we add one more and it's going to carry over all the way to eight it just takes a while to carry so here's the four it's gonna drop and then it carries over to eight but what if you just randomly added a bunch of numbers and you get something like this and you don't want to add anything well over here we have a reset button so if we push the button all these sand blocks are gonna fall and break on these pressure plates and the system in the back will reset so it's switched to normal so this thing is pretty cool so I guess we'll look at the redstone and see how this thing works so this is what the redstone looks like it kinda looks a bit complicated but it's actually really simple so over here we have all the sand and we have four sand for each number just because it doesn't cause lag and it can be hidden behind the machine and over here we have some double piston extenders that get powered by these buttons in the front so when you push the button this dull piston extender will retract then extend pushing the sand block out and the sand blocks will fall onto this block also activating this trip wire which we'll get onto later so how it carries on like we said with the trip wires ugh, I just fell so basically the trip wires activate through this repeater using this dot of redstone going through the board and it activates this piston and activates this piston which will spit out its observer and the observer will be here so once another piece of sand falls on the same tripwire it will retract the observer then powering this piston which drops the sand and this pulse extender will go to the next dull piston extender and it just goes like that over and over and over again so the yellow circuit is the reset circuit so when you push this button and we go all the way down here first it retracts this piston so this doesn't activate the pulse extender and activate all the dull piston extenders so that retracts then this will extend and retract and it'll do that with all of them and that's how we get the reset so I hope you enjoyed this video and if you want me to do a tutorial on this thing I'll gladly make a tutorial because it's really simple to make because it's all modular it's all the same thing so if you want a tutorial for this tell me if you want a tutorial and tell me on my discord server because I also got a discord server I'll put that in the description too and I'll put the original video also in the description so I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one